Hello everyone, Amador here, and welcome to Am's Journeys, episode 50. I hope you're having a good day today. I'm doing well. I uploaded my very first video to the channel back on May 20th of 2018. It was a short video where I played around with some of the features that were coming out in the snapshot for 18W20C, which was for Minecraft 1.13. The last three years have been a long, slow climb, and I've been enjoying every minute of it. Sure, there are days where I struggle, but I try to learn something new with each new series and with each new video. My goal is to continue making better and better content as I move on. As of May 2021, the channel stands at 155 subscribers, and we have had 10,498 views. My most viewed video was uploaded on April 19th of 2019 and is episode 4 of Amadorn's Constructs with 3,242 views. It was a little tutorial video about roads and different road types. Overall, I'm very satisfied with the current state of the channel and one lesson that I keep trying to learn over and over again is to slow down. There is so much that I want to do, so many different games that I enjoy, that I want to share with everyone, that I keep trying to do it all at once, and that really isn't sustainable for a long period of time. I know I've said this before, and I've totally ignored my own advice, but the quality of the videos is far more important than the quantity of the videos. So I'm going to work on slowing down, and I'm going to get back to basics. I also want to get more into streaming, um, and I've been trying to decide if I want to stream to YouTube or to Twitch. I do have a Twitch account, um, but I haven't really used it in a fairly long time for anything other than watching streams of other people. Um, I, I like to watch Critical Role, and I like to watch uh, some of the other folks that are on Lifecraft and Ramblecraft. But for the most part, I just do YouTube. I will, of course, make an announcement when I make a decision as to where I'm going to be streaming long term. Um, in the meantime, I may stream occasionally to, to YouTube just to kind of get into the habit and, and make sure that I understand and how, how it, that all works in that process. Kind of fine tune my streaming capabilities. So I think that's kind of where the channel is currently. Like I said, we're about three years into it. I've been really happy with, with ev where everything is at and how things are going, especially with this world. Now, I've done some things recently, like bring in some old builds and stuff to give me uh, more opportunities to finish those builds, um, which I'm looking forward to. But uh, for the most part, this world has been doing pretty good. It started here um, in this little cave. Um, the idea for this series was originally that I was going to kind of go through the ages of civilization, starting with the Stone Age and living in a cave. So I built this little cave home. Um, got me a uh, uh, wandering trader head. And uh, this turned out really well. I, I, I kind of like the way this came, you know, with all the, the greenery in here and the wood beams and, you know, the cobblestone. I think it could probably use a little bit of touching up, um, especially in the storage area, which I don't even really use anymore. Um, but I really like it. Uh, we have access to a mine down here. This area is kind of unfinished. Um, but there is a mine down this way. Um, I'm not sure where that portal is from. And then if we go outside here and around, we can come up into here. And I got really lucky with this zombie spawner right here. Uh, whoa, and there's a creeper in there, apparently. And I'm hearing uh, pillagers. But yeah, um, this, this spawner right here was able to essentially give me a way to, uh, to generate XP. Um, now, I've done a little bit of terrain work here, but not a whole lot. Um, I've got this little pond here with this little waterfall that kind of leads down into this bay. But this little road here kind of leads around 
Oh, there's some zombies and stuff. Well, it is starting to get nighttime. Um, let's see if we can head over to the village over here. There is my nether tree. Um, I actually need to kind of redo that a little bit. But I built this bridge in this road over to here. And uh, this is the kind of the second build of this world um, was this little village. Now this village touts its own fields. Um, it's got these little huts. Each one of these huts is kind of dedicated to storage of a particular wood type or uh, block type. Um, we've got a sheep pasture over here. Okay, and then over here, we actually have um, my AFK fish farm. Now, this fish farm no longer works uh, due to changes in the way uh, fishing has been made. Um, and that's probably a good thing. You know, I, I kind of was, it was sad to see the changes to uh, AFK fishing. Um, but I understood it, 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 it was a little broken. Um, let's go in here and sleep real quick. Uh, guys, there, three of you to one bed. But that house is really, whoa. I got out of bed outside the house. That was weird. Okay. So yeah, we've got this little field here that the villagers keep uh, keep uh, working, which is awesome. You know, there's several different professions around here. You know, we've got um, librarian villager in here. You know, it, this this little farm village works really well. Um, it's got some livestock. Whoa, which is good. And I'm hearing hearing zombies. We'll, we'll just let you finish cooking. Ow, ow, huh? Yeah. Are 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 you gonna? I know you're wearing armor. <laughs> There you go. Okay, so let's uh, head out. Um, I also built this building here, which is an AFK chicken cooker, which um, appears to be full. And it's probably just losing items at this point. Um, this, this, this was a nice little house. Um, I actually lived in here for a little bit. Not very long, though. Um, got, whoa, hello. Got a farmer in here. It, it's, it, it could use uh, a little bit of furniture. But it, it's very compact. And, you know, that house is kind of built around that automatic chicken cooker. Then over here, we have our, uh, sheep shearing operation which seems to still be working and again those are all f pretty much all full um i don't know how often these actually get loaded but i suppose i should probably come in here and and and, and collect all this stuff and get it into storage um i think i had sheep in here at one point So after this village, I headed whoop, I uh, headed over to the um, village that was generated by the world uh, generation, and, which I have now named Alford. There's uh, zombies in the woods. 
we could definitely still use a little bit of terraforming um, and a little bit of reworking of things. Oh, I need to eat. I've been running around and I need to eat. So this is the town of Alford. So this is the town of Alford. And um, it started out really just with this house over here. Um, this is the first building I built over here. This nice little house. It is fully furnished. And this kind of became my main home. Um, with, with all these all these nice works in here um, I have the uh, statues uh, data pack in, installed so uh, we're able to you know set up some armor stands and set up some good things there and uh, it has a nice basement under it for storage although I'm, I'm not really using this part anymore there's a few things still down here but not much um and then, uh, you know, these are the gardens. Got uh, a carrot field over here that uh, has some villagers in it. Nice, nice amount of carrots. Got some pigs. Uh, beetroot is over here. Uh, we get a nice berry patch here. We've got bees and honey uh, making over here. Um, these we just push the button and it collects. Um, got a trellis here so that we can make uh, vines. Um, over here is potatoes. Okay. And over here is wheat. Which gives us a variety of things. Um, so yeah. They do pretty good with that. Uh, we have a sugarcane field here. Okay, and now none of this is automatic. This is just, you know, um, I, I suppose like the potatoes and the carrots and stuff are semi-automatic. But um, most of this is, I, I gotta go through and harvest it myself. We get to... Uh, Cactus here for when we need some green uh, dye and um, cactus. We've got a melon patch here um, and some more hives. A small wheat field here with a scarecrow. Uh, this is the town inn. It's also got a tavern in here. And a guy who likes to stand on the tables. Uh, this is where I really kind of went went to town with the armor stand mod. And um, uh, apparently when I put in the heads data pack, um, I've, I've still got all of the hermit craft heads in there. So there's Corrales singing. We got Wells Knight in here. Um, and then, of course, we got myself in here. Now this building here is actually multi-story. This is kind of the, uh, the the ground floor, okay, and then we got an upper floor, and then down here we've got kind of a basement floor, which is right next to the boats. Um, I believe this was an F-whip design boat um, that works really well. Um, I have, uh, well, I had. Uh, some villagers in here um, for merchant stuff, but they may have gotten out. I'm not sure. Or they may just be in their beds. 
Hard to say. Um, I get, you know, the, the crop farms have made uh, some really nice um, greenhouses and stuff. So this is kind of kind of the merchant area. Let me go up here. We have a stables. For our horses. Uh, well, a horse. Um, over here is the blacksmith shop. Um, which has got this nice big uh, round, kind of rounded kiln in it. Um, over here is the armor, armor and toolsmiths. Through here we go into the main uh, uh, smithy. Okay, we have a uh, cobblestone generator built into this. Uh, we have a bit of a super smelter. We can turn that off. Okay. And uh, this, you know, anything that we put into these chests here filters down into these. And then our fuel goes into this hopper right here, or this minecart here. Um, and it takes care of whatever we need to uh, smelt up. Uh, we do have some uh, bits and bobs in here for decoration. And there is a second floor to this, where, where which is where most of these guys end up hanging out. Because I can't figure out how to get back downstairs. Uh, where these guys all sleep. I bet if I left this open here, they would eventually figure their way out and get lost in town. All right, this building here is inspired by Minecraft Dungeons. Um, it is one of the buildings in that game. And um, I have turned it into an automatic cattle cooker. Sorry, guys. But uh, yeah, it cooks up the beef. We got a couple of leather workers over here. If I want to feed the cows and um, grow them, I do that here. Push that button and they grow. We can come around over here to what was going to be a bedroom, but it hasn't really been much. Um, and we can go down these stairs, say hi to these leather workers, and we can go in here to the butcher shop. So we got all kinds of meats over here. We have a uh, smelting or a, a cooking array over here, um, and it's all set up fairly well. All right, let's um, let's go ahead and sleep. Uh, we can go inside the stables here because there is a house attached to the stables. We go up here, and we can sleep. There we go. And we can head back downstairs. Now this space here is still kind of open. This is uh, areas where I'm planning on some other builds. Um, I have a place to use a cathedral or a church. Um, and we need uh, some other buildings. Um, this is my tree farm. This is a manual tree farm. I just plant everything here. I do have a way to, um, I, I can turn this lever here. And all of these minecarts go back and forth and creepers blow stuff up. Um, well, that's gonna run for a little bit because Creepers blew up my TNT. Um, let me see if I can put some of this away. Well, um, we got the lever here. Let's see if we can turn this off real quick. All right. 
and then we'll have to uh, fix that later. But yeah, I've got some tree farms here. I mean, I've got a couple of platforms here for uh, nether uh, warped in crimson uh, woods. Um, because, you know, you need to be able to make those as well. Uh, storage for the wood. And then this is the sawmill. Um, we got a house attached to an actual mill here. Um, it would be awesome if this actually worked, but it doesn't, you know, it's just, it's just for looks. Over here is, um, access to our mine. Uh, we have, uh, a nice house in here. And outside access um, and then up here is a bedroom and then up here is some more bed space okay and these are for um, you know the miners actually what I would like to do is like get my get some masons over here um, so that and, and keep them in here And then this is the actual mine itself. Now this does go down to diamond level. Um, it is not um, decorated all the way down to diamond level, but uh, it is uh, got an access down there so that I can go mine for uh, whatever resources I need um, and a whole bunch of strip mines. Um, across the bridge here, uh, we come to the Castle of Alford. Now, the castle doesn't, um, isn't complete. Um, ooh. I've got, uh, somebody donating some stone for me. Um, the, the castle isn't complete. There's still quite a bit to do. Um, it is also home to the Adventurer's Guild, which is over here. This is the Adventurer's Guild. Got some heads up here. Now the Adventurer's Guild has a quest hall over here. Um, I uh, put up to diamonds for people to and quests so they can uh, go do stuff. Looks like somebody brought in an inner chest. Um, and I've got some empty ones so that I can basically write quests for people on the server. They can come over here and, um, and do what's in the quests and take some diamonds. It's kind of like a reverse shop. Uh, this leads up to here, which is a nice little bedroom. Um, there are some other rooms over here. This is storage. And we have a small tower here that uh, you can get up into. And check out the view of the castle. And then if we head back down, um, we've got a uh, kind of a, a study here uh, with access to a, a side tower. What I don't have for that is a way to um, get down to the bottom of the tower from over here. There is an access. Whoa, it's very dark in there. Um, I must have forgot to light that up. That's that's not a good idea. We probably should light this up. There we go. <laughs> Unintentional mob farm. 
All right, so uh, this building here, um, I don't remember exactly what it was for. I think it was just meant to be a little house. Um, nothing, nothing significant. Um, it is unfinished. I just wanted a, you know, a house inside the castle. Um, I think I meant for it to be like um, a shop of some sort. Um, but uh, it really is just a house. Over here, we have some villager friends. Um, there were more of you. And this is where I have the iron farm. The iron farm is doing pretty good. Um, it hasn't filled up all the poppies yet, so uh, we don't have a whole lot there. But uh, it, it's just a regular iron farm. Filters down into this stuff. I believe I'm actually missing a villager. Let's go up here and then slowly make our way down. Yes, I'm missing a villager in one of my bins. So I'm going to have to figure out how to fix that. Um, and then this also gives us access to the wall. Now, at one time, I considered to have uh, access between this and that. Um, which this is the uh, Inner Bailey Gatehouse. Um, but it really kind of seemed like a bad idea. Uh, Defensive-wise. Now, this here is kind of a makeshift storage that was in progress. It is totally unfinished. Uh, through and here and into the Inner Bailey, we have... The main keep, um, which this is meant to be a courtyard, but uh, that and I'm thinking about building a fountain there. But this also acts as a mob farm. Now I think I've got it off right now, um, so it should be just pumping out water all the time. But I can shut this off and then generate water, which, and then everybody goes down into this lava pool. Now, this is over, this is completely over engineered. Um, and is somewhat inefficient, but it does work. <laughs> um, it is not the greatest of mob farms, but it works. Um,. And then I can take the goodies that come out of there and I can sort them out. I, I get mostly bones and arrows and rotten flesh. Um, I did get some uh, gunpowder. But uh, for the most part, you know, and occasionally I get some of this stuff. Um, but, but not very often. I don't run it very often. Um, it, it doesn't seem to be very lag intensive. Um, but uh, I, I just, I'm not around over here very often right now. So I don't run it very often. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sleep, um, maybe. There we go. So this is the main floor of Alford Castle. We come in here. We've got some side rooms. Most of these are not decorated yet. Um, I believe this room is set up because this is a library. Um, it does have an enchanting table in here. We have a, an office back here. Uh, a couple of ways into and out of the library. Um, this side hallway here leads um, to a kitchen and a pantry. And there's an office over here. Uh, 
Uh, we have a couple of more offices down this way and access to what will be other builds. Um, there's going to be a wizard's tower uh, attached to the castle. And then this is the throne room. With open windows. Yep, this is the throne room for Alfred Castle. Uh, these stairs up here will lead to builds later on. Um, I'm working on some royal bedrooms and stuff up here. Um, you know, some royal quarters. Um, but for the most part, this area is unfinished and kind of on hold at this point. Oh, hello. Out. And of course, I can see my subscriber sign over there, which I need to update. Very rude of him. And all of this has access to the walls of the castle, which leads to these other towers, um, most of which are currently unfinished. Um, but I kind of needed a break um, from the castle, so I uh, went on to do other things. There we go. So that is Alford Castle as it currently stands. It still needs some work. Still plen plenty of things to do over here. Um, I'd like some more houses. I'd like some more buildings. I'd like to put some stables in here. Uh, maybe a carriage house. Um, so uh, lots of stuff to do. Um, from here, um, we kind of took a break. And um, have moved over to a jungle temple. Now there is a, an unfinished area. You can kind of see it over there uh, on the mountainside. Um, some some yellow wool over there, and then a white platform that's over there. It's kind of hard to see from here. Um, that was an area that I had started to work on after the village, but before Alfred Cat uh, Alfred and the castle, um, because it was supposed to be kind of this Greek Roman esque. Uh, town sort of idea and it just totally wasn't working um, I did some test builds over there and it, it just didn't work out for me so um, right now it kind of stands as a ruin um, and there, there really isn't anything there um, there is a building and some materials over there but I haven't gone back to it um, it's a building style that I'm not real familiar with uh, so it, it just, what I came up with didn't work. Um, eventually I will get back to it. But for now, it's kind of off at its own. Um, so from here, uh, we are working on the jungle temple. So let's head over there and uh, let me show you what we got going on. Um, I do have this little this little uh, kind of nether bunker. I've got a piglin here. Um, I've got some stuff set up for here, and I can go down there to do some mining. Um, I also have a blaze farm that's not too far from here that works really well. Um, for collecting uh, XP to repair tools and stuff with. But if we go down this path here and out and around, we can come over here. Um, avoid looking at that interman. Through this here. One thing I will note is that I have had very little problem with gas in um, 
in this world. Um, probably just because of where my nether hub is spawned. Um, it just worked out really well. And, and I, I would prefer it stay that way. Um, there is a lot of work left to do over here. Um, I've been trying to clear out trees and stuff from inside the perimeter that I have built up with the temple. Um, but that is taking so long to do. Uh, longer than I really anticipated. Um, not as bad. I, I will say that it is not as bad as when I tried to do the temp temple on Season uh, 1 of Centricraft. Um, because there I basically killed a mountain. Um, but uh, this is this was been this has been better um, because I was able to get the build farther and I learned a lot of stuff doing the center the season one um, temple, um, which is now in this world. It's it's over on that side. Um, but here we are. Um, I have uh, a little bit left to do over here, and then I have. This side to do, which I now have a beacon. And the beacon really doesn't seem to be helping with the trees. But it might help with trying to level the land and stuff out later on. Um, this side is done. Uh, as far as like clearing trees. I still need to level everything out. I've started to do that over here. Okay. There, that is getting very close to being finished. Um, but I get to do that over here. And I need to decide what we're going to do with the jungle temple. I'd really like to keep it. Um, but I think it needs to move. And I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that. Because if I move it, I'd like to move it brick for brick. And rebuild it block for block. Um... But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it may just end up becoming a casualty. I'm not sure yet. I know that there is another jungle temple around here. Um, not too far away. Um, I believe over in that direction. I don't know if it's right there on the coast or if it's a little bit farther out. Um, but I know it's around here. Uh, I know there's one in that direction. Um, so we might just call this one a casualty and then leave that one and leave the one over there. Uh, a lot of this jungle is going to get transformed. Um, uh, there's so many of these trees and stuff that are just going to have to come out. The amount of jungle wood I'm going to have after this project is just nuts. And I think um, once I get... The trees cleared out will probably be able to get to work fairly serious on the on the temple um, but for the most part right now I'm just kind of doing bits and pieces of this as I go about things um, and trying to do a little bit of cleanup I think for a probably a few episodes uh, we'll be away from here and kind of doing some other stuff um, I, I would like to do a little bit of terraforming uh, surrounding the imported builds and get those cleaned up a little bit and um, see where we're at on there and kind of put together a big, you know, a space where I can do a bunch of planning and kind of decide what needs to be done with each build and where we want to go from there. Um, so there's a lot going on. Uh, the, there, and I, I'm really enjoying this world, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, occasionally, I do have some some issues with inspiration, but I have a lot of unfinished projects, so there's always something I can be doing. Um, I can always get back to to something. I can always, if I need to, I can take a break from one project and work on another, and, and just kind of go from there. And and I'm really enjoying it, and I hope you guys are too as you're watching me go through all of this stuff. Um, and that's kind of where we're at. Now, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to swing it, but I do want to try to create a world download. Um, I'm going to see if I can find a place to do that. 
um, and get that uh, set up. Uh, if I do, there will be a link down in the description to where you can download this world and check it out and build in it. If if you put some builds in it, send me some pictures. You know, um, I don't have any problem if you want to build and make some videos of your own in my worlds. Uh, I would ask that you kind of give me credit. Um, if you do that, um, please don't steal my stuff. <laughs> But uh, you're more than welcome to uh, create your own builds and, and, and create your own videos in in my world. Um, you know, and uh, who knows? Um, I am looking at maybe setting up a Patreon. Um, I work a full-time day job and I own a game store. Um, so there's very little time for me to do a whole bunch of recording. Um, I try to cram as much recording as I can into a single day, which really is tough. Um, and I would really like to be able to spend more time doing YouTube videos and because I have all kinds of ideas for things I could do with the channel um, and, and not just video game related stuff. I, I would like to do some, uh, some more RPGs. There is an awesome series on the channel uh, that we did a couple of years ago. Uh, where I ran a group of friends through the uh, tabletop RPG Tales of the Loop. Um, we had planned to do a second season. Uh, we had recorded the first episode, and then the pandemic hit, and we had to stop playing. Um, hopefully we can get back, and we'll probably just end up restarting season two. Um, but I'm hoping that at some point we can get back to playing. Uh, we are playing some D&D &D in the shop. Um, most of it's not, rec you know, uh, I, we don't record any of that or stream any of that. Um, I don't foresee us streaming D&D, &D, um, but maybe recording some of it. Uh, we've got some really good stories going on and some really cool campaigns. Um, and, I, you know, I'm really happy. There's a lot of smoke around here. And I just re you know, I just realized that... While that lava is there and it's really cool, and the campfires underneath the lava make make you know the, make it look like things are happening, um, that may be a bit too much smoke. Maybe just a bit. Okay, I'm sidetracked. <laughs> okay, so so yeah, um, I may set up a Patreon to where folks can you know you know if you're really interested and you like what I'm doing. Um, and you would like to, you know, see more stuff or, or maybe give me the opportunity to um, do, some, do some things. Um, uh, we'll see. We'll see what the, where, where the future is going. Um, we, I could set up a Patreon server where, uh, you know, my fans can, can, can get together and play Minecraft together and do videos um, together on the Patreon. And I can jump in there once in a while and have some fun with you guys. So that is a possibility. Um, just, you know, let me know what you're interested in. Uh, feel free to uh, explore those topics down in the um, uh, comment section below. I do have a Discord. Um, I will put that link out here if, if you would like to join my Discord. Um, it, it, there isn't a whole lot of people on it right now, but uh, the more the merrier, and we could um, check things out. Of course, um, you also see me on Lifecraft. You will see me on Ramblecraft and um, doing other, other videos for like Star Wars The Old Republic and Civilization and City Skylines. Um, so I, I try to do a, a multitude of games. I like playing lots of games. Um, so that is kind of where we're at. And I think with that, we're going to go ahead and call this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button down below. If you like this, like this video and would like to, uh, see other videos of mine, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Um, until next time, I hope you have a good one. Goodbye.